Okay, so so let's start. So we continue today uh, our uh, Kitzur Shulchan Aruch classes, right? So today is the second class, and we start with uh, uh, Sefer Chafetz Chaim, right? Lesson a day, and we continue on the next thought. So we have been in uh, like uh, overview. So the next thought is uh, down down the page where it says the laws of proper speech. <clears throat> so it says the laws of proper speech are Hashem specific particular directives for how to use this uh, defining capacity. They teach us um, how to look uh, at people, speak to people, and speak about people. Right, very interesting. Uh, okay, so what do you mean by teach us how to look at people? Mm -hmm. So like, because I, I read this before you call, like I was just reading that mm -hmm. whole thing. No, just to see like where it was going. I was like, yes. to look at people, it, you know, I'm curious to know what they mean okay. by that because that's very interesting to me. It's a, it's a, it's a very good question. So look at people, uh, how, how you judge person. Mm -hmm. So for example, you see something doing something wrong. Like it mm -hmm. looks to you that he's doing something wrong. Right. For example, I give you one uh, like a classic example, uh, like uh, all of the classic example. So you you know the, this uh, person from uh, from your shul, and now and now from from the far, from maybe half a block away, you see him uh, on Shabbos going into the car, and uh, going somewhere. Mm -hmm. So it depends how you look at this person, look at this situation. So basically, like. Uh, mm -hmm. Just, uh, just to give you like a, a little preview, right? So if he is a kosher person, so you know that he shoma Shabbos, and uh, uh, every time that you 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 in the shul, he is also in the shul, and this one time he behaved like that. So you you are obligated to look at him positively and give him a benefit of the doubt. What is the benefit right, of okay. the doubt? So maybe he has a three. Three years old right. on his uh, back seat, and he has a uh, stomach pain, and he's going to the hospital. Right. So in right. this case, okay. it is permitted for him to go in the car on Shabbos and drive. Right. So that, that's how you, you you look at people. Speak to people. Also, do not. Uh, for example, one of the uh, examples would be not embarrassing a person in public. As yeah, I'll well, say I this I got, I got embarrassed today in a shul. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to teach you now what to do what, when it happens. So you. I, I just kept my mouth quiet. <laughs> that, that, that's oh, yeah. no, but 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 it's not enough. It's not enough. Yeah, okay. So I'm I'm going to tell you why. It hurt. <laughs> like cause after I woke up, I was like, why? It's bothering me. Like I, I didn't say anything back, although mm. it felt like I should have. No, 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 God forbid, no, 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 no. That was like the old me thinking, like, you should have said something back. Okay, I'm I'm going to tell you what. So, I think it's in a safer yov. It's one one of the, our prophets, right? That is, it, it's a machlokes, uh, was it he was a Jew or not Jew? Okay, but it, he was one of the prophets. Very interesting book. So, it's, uh, the question is asked, is asked, like uh, what the world is uh, holding on, right? What like uh, the world? How it's it's suspended in the air, right? What holds this uh, right. this earth from falling into I don't know in the in, into into this atmosphere? I and mean, then not atmosphere, like uh, in uh, in this uh, cosmos, right? What, how, how is it suspended? On what, right? And uh, the answer is this. Uh, I would say just say that um, the world is suspended uh, um, uh, by nothingness, and they say, well, "What do you mean by nothingness? Nothingness it means that nothing is holding; and it's supposed to to fall right somewhere, right?" right? So they say like nothingness. They ex explain the world is suspended on people being embarrassed, and they do not answer back. So when you somebody <laughs> answer you and you don't answer back, you must know that you are you are Hashem's partner in suspending the world. Mm. I didn't I see you officially so his partner. Okay, it's one thing. Second thing, it's uh, when somebody, God forbid, uh, 
and uh, embarrass somebody in public, it's like he's kill uh, he, he's killing the person. Yeah, in a shul too. In a shul, ooh, in a shul, especially in a shul. So, but uh, but when you do not answer, I I want to I want to I want to continue with the topic on hand. But uh, we're going to, uh, to to return to this on this per, uh, on this moment when somebody embarrass you, you do not answer. You have to wish, um, make make a wish from Hashem. Really? And you can ask big things, huge things, because uh, Hashem in the, in this in this specific situation, when you quiet, that's uh, it's a midah like like Hashem. He's quiet. When people mm. embarrass him, he's quiet. So okay, when when I'm you writing this down, just give me yes <laughs> yes yes please please. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so you you must make a wish and always keep quiet, and uh, especially if you have something to answer, psh, your your reward is immeasurable. And uh, they 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 say that when when you know such a person, who uh, who was embarrassed in public and kept quiet, come and ask him for a blessing. <laughs> That, but all I did was when I came to my car, I was just like, I forgive him for Shem, and that's it. <laughs> that's all I did. That's all I can yes, say. Yes, yeah, yeah, no, that, that, that's uh, that's what you must do. Because why why you must do that? Because if you don't forgive him, and he's right, he's not right. It that doesn't make any difference. So if he's going to be punished, right? If if somebody say I don't I don't forgive that person, if that person, uh, God forbid, is going to be punished, so they're going to look at your account. And the Jew is going to be punished because of you. Wow. So let him if he if if this person is deserved to be punished, let it be punished. Let him be punished, but not because of you. Right. Hashem has millions and billions of messengers. Let it be somebody else. Not right. let it not be, be be you, even though it's not your fault. Right. Okay. okay. So okay, so that's uh, how we explain it. Okay. So one one more time this line. Uh, they teach us, so I mean in these laws, how to look uh, look at people, we just explained, speak to people, and speak about people. So, all right, so continue. They reflect the Torah's wisdom, which sees the impact and ripple effect in every negative interaction. So our sages were, uh, of course, they guide the, all of the psychology, and psyche of the of the of the of the person mind and how it's going to affect uh, him and uh, not only right now but three minutes from now a year from now uh, uh, ten years from now from from Hashem mm -hmm. from creator of the of the human beings of, of these wow. minds the Torah understand that uh, at the core of virtually every broken relay friendships friendship shattering career or divorce is the seed of hatred a seed of uh, a seed usually planted but hurtful words mm -hmm. so sometimes they uh, you can be friend with somebody right for uh, I don't know, from from your childhood and you told them and maybe it was joke or maybe it, you had a headache or this ache or the, uh, that ache and maybe it was not the mood not, not in the mood and you you and 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 he said that's it I said, I don't want to talk to you anymore. I don't want to see you. I want this. Okay, so we, we must be very careful always. How often? Always. These are words. The Torah laws reflects Hashem knowledge that uh, much of one pain and anguish of life can be averted by um, restraining ourselves from uh, sowing these seeds. So control your speech. Just because you you have a good joke when somebody is uh, I don't know, when somebody is uh, in any specific situation, just keep quiet. Just keep quiet. It's very important, like uh, especially between man and his wife, and uh, since uh, for example they spend a lot of time together, right? So at one point they uh, run out of a subject for conversation, right? So they start. Uh, Discussing their relatives and uh, friends and uh, his uh, her, her girlfriends and his uh, friends and stuff like that and it not not going to end up good. Yeah, I've seen it happen. So. Uh, that's uh, that's what our sages say. So our great rabbis and 
I, I first I heard, I heard it from Rabbi Mizrahi, Shlita from uh, I don't know many years ago, maybe ten years ago. So he said, if you want to really develop really close relationship with your wife, start learning Torah with her. But how do you learn Torah with your wife? Like, I I, I, I learn Torah with my wife four times a week. How do you do it? Like what? What do you? Okay. Like, you... Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So. She, for for example, she 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 would not uh, learn with me the, whatever I learn with you, because uh, it's different. She, she has a different mindset, right. but um, but she but uh, something like um, um, I I'm I'm it's it's easier for 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 me to tell you the topics. For example, on Monday yeah, yeah. we learn the Talmud with him. Right, so there, there are many, many stories, like many like uh, um, challenges between rabbis, and it's 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 very challenging. It's it's very interesting. Right, and the women you, usually they more like uh, uh, logical than men. Usually, okay. right, okay. and uh, smart, and and they they have a sense. So even though she does not learn as much. Uh, as I am, maybe she learns, maybe I don't know, maybe ten percent of what what I learn, mm -hmm. but she has uh, this women sense, this sixth sense. So many times she asks the question, and I would say, "Stop it! Why would you say so?" I said, "Why would you say so?" And three three lines down, Rashi asks her question, and really? and this oh, question so would like never, same. ever, ever, ever enter my mind. Are you read Hebrew? Me, I, I read Hebrew, but I, I don't I don't understand uh, most of it. So I'm I'm really, really English. English is okay. good, right? So on on another day we learn Medrash, Medrash uh, like uh, the Medrash. Also, it's very interesting. So they go. It's like a Gemara style. They go deep, deep, deep into all of the details. Right. Then we learn uh, Novi. So and you do that together. So like we, 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 yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. Yes. And, and, okay. and we discuss. So for, for example, if, if, if you want to talk to, to somebody for hours and hours and hours and hours, try to, to learn uh, Kings. Okay. Kings. Okay. So it's, it's about David. Right? It's about David, Shaul, Shmuel, Shlomo. Uh, Shlomo. Shlomo is uh, in the Kings too. Yeah, so the, and uh, there are many midrash and all of the ba background story, and uh, for example, we I I have my uh, favorite characters and she has her uh, uh, favorite characters, and uh, and uh, there is a very deep story and uh, the very like very interesting background of what happened and what lessons do we learn. So Torah is not a storybook, right? So uh, when um, when when they tell you the story, when, when if if Torah spends an ink on every word, it means that to teach us some lesson, right? In in life, that uh, whatever happened to David applies to me today, today, right? And uh, not only to me, to to everybody. So and uh, this midrash and these deep deep commentaries, they explain. So it's very very interesting, and and she has a woman perspective. I have of course guys perspective. And it's uh, it's never boring, never ever boring, never ever, never ever. Interesting. I look forward to that day. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hashem, Hashem. And uh, what else we learn? Um, and uh, then we we learn in Yaakov. In Yaakov, it's uh, basically this great rabbi. He compiled all of the stories from the Talmud. So he left Halach Highway, right? And like easy reading. But it's very also very very deep stories, very interesting oh, stories. Interesting. So on, on one hand it's easy reading, but uh, but uh, since I I, I learn uh, more than here, so I can add to to these stories. Right. Like how, for example, from uh, they say the story, and I say, you know what? I know that uh, this and this halacha uh, they derive from this story. Right. So it's always uh, so it's uh, Rabbi Mizrahi was uh, right a hundred percent, and it works very well for me. Okay. And for for uh, some other people who I recommend, and they uh, doing the same. That they do it. And yes. Works for that, them too. Yeah. Okay. So so there there is always uh, things uh, to talk uh, to your wife besides uh, uh, discussing. Uh, I don't know, uh, her girlfriends or her relatives or your relatives or well, your neighbors. That, like rabbis used to come like home and like they would teach their wives musar from what they learned. 
you know, that yeah. day. Like, that I, that I heard. Yes. But the yeah. learning tour together, that sounds, like, yes. very, like, fun to me. Not fun, but, like... But, but, it, just... but it is fun. It, it, it is fun. So you're, you're, you're learning Torah because uh, it says clearly that uh, women, uh, women are not obligated to learn Torah, they, right. but, but they must know. I mean, she if she if she's going to be in charge in the kitchen, she must know 100% all of the intricate details of the uh, kashrus. Kashrus, right. right. You, you understand? But if she does yeah. not learn, so how would she know? And and, no, she, no. and if you, for example, we, we learn these kashrus uh, subjects together. That that's how we started a long time ago, yeah. right? I mean, she she would not really read by by herself, but together. Some things are not clear, so we would discuss and we ask we're rabbis. Together. Yeah, so together is always, uh, always, always uh, better. better and yeah. simpler, and uh, we have motivation. It's funny because so like my parents used to tell me, like even in Russian, like they, they would spit wisdom, but it all stems from Torah because uh, even now I hear it, it's like from Torah. Like mm -hmm. they would tell me, like it's always better to do things with two. Like when yes, two of you, yes, yes, it's better. And I'm like thinking that when I think about it, I'm mm -hmm. like it's like Torah wisdom right yes. there. You know, like, exactly, it's just all exactly. Wisdom from today is like old Torah wisdom. Exactly. That was already... So yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So, all right. So let's go on. Yeah. Let's let's continue a little. So, so we, we said so all of these seeds are uh, uh, sown uh, in these uh, hurtful words, right? It is, um, but but uh, one one more time. So when when you have uh, like um, all, all all of the discussion about, about what what you learn, it's like it's very it's very like uh, lively discussions. It's not like okay, David said that and Shaul said no, no. It's very lively discussions. So very lively. Okay. So so okay. Continue. It is actually a simple principle. If one removes ne negativity, gossip, slander, and uh, divisiveness from um, from one's vocabulary, uh, one automatically and dramatically improves one's own life and the lives of everyone in one's environment. It's uh, it's uh, it's uh, uh, it's not easy, right? On one hand, on another, not easy. But 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 benefit that everybody everybody's life around you is improving. So everybody, like, uh, one, one, one wants to be around that person. Right. And I know that that person, uh, that such one one such a person. So I had to work with him j just recently, maybe last week, right? Mm -hmm. So I have to do like some activity with him for five hours, five hours straight. Wow. And uh, what are we were working on uh, trying to, to do some things. And, uh, and we were talking and some negativity slipped out of my tongue. I, 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 I knew like later on, I, I uh, analyzed what, what I said, what he said. And uh, I, I knew it was not specific, not what not specific uh, person and stuff like that. So it was not as uh, as as bad, but still there was negativity. And then I realized that in five hours, this rabbi that I did activity with said zero negative things. No negative. It's it's not about like zero. He didn't say anything. Absolutely negative. Only positive about uh, everybody. And this uh, b rabbi, believe it or not, he's uh, he's uh, as as he told me. No, no, he he didn't tell tell me. He did. He told uh, several times to the whole congregation. So he's a um, grandson of the grandson of the author of the Kitzur Shulchan Aruch. Really, grandson of the grandson. That's unbelievable. Yes, he's a, he's a rabbi in in the shul where they go, and uh, we had to do wow. some activity together. Yes, That's so unbelievable. It's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's no wonder. He yes, didn't say anything negative. Mm, <laughs> it's not always like that. So just because know, he's know, great, but... great was a great person, does not mean that uh, children are on on a par. Right, but if he is great. It also means that he did take some of it, right? Yes, so it, yes, it, yes. It can happen that I, I, because I know that there's a lot of stories about children being not mm -hmm. righteous when their parents were righteous. So I, I know that it's mm -hmm. not always like that. But that's interesting that not one negative thing. It's hard, you know, because when you're learning about Lashon like I know, like mm -hmm. 
I, I'm sometimes I'll you know because I talk because my best friend works with me at the store like mm-hmm. where I work at so mm-hmm. you know they'll say something and I'll sometimes worry like if my response was mm-hmm. it's not like bad like about him or anything but like he'll mention somebody mm-hmm. and I'll be like like he'll be like oh did, did you hear what happened and I'll be like mm-hmm. no <laughs> I didn't you know and I do, I don't want to know anything about who he's talking about even though I know the person mm-hmm. I don't even want to hear about mm-hmm. him but like how do you stop that you it's know, like, a, all mean? all of these recipes in this book it's all in this book it's right, it's so a clear clear <laughs> recipes what what to do okay i can't wait till i get yes. this book okay because <laughs> there's right. so much like with lashon or i it's very like yeah i need a rule book <laughs> yeah that, that's much, uh, like, i need that's what it is that that's what what it is and okay. in all, all of my uh, groups that that uh, with all of people oh not, not all but um in many people uh, with many people that i learned we start with this book or other books with this book yes uh, maybe other books also okay mm-hmm. on on but on on the same topic okay, okay. so let's see there is a one commentary it says there are many um there are there are times when lotion hara is permitted or even required uh there is when a warning a person about potential harm for example a potential business or a marriage partner so for example if if you know that somebody uh is uh, is not not uh, not a g- good person right and he he steals and stuff like that and you know for sure because it happened uh, with you right you you went business with this guy and he cheated you and uh, now he pushed you out of the business and he owns the business and now he's uh, lo- uh, looking for uh, for another partner or victim right partner slash victim Right, and so now, and so now, somebody who who does not know this guy, like let's say it's five years later, and he is uh, interested in uh, in be, becoming a partner to this business. So you are you are obligated to warn that person. So basically, you're going to say negative things about your former partner, right? But it's your obligation to protect that second guy. Or, for example, in a marriage partner. So if you know, if you know, so uh, for for example, um, you know that uh, somebody is, is is looking for shidduch, right? And this guy he lives, uh, I don't know, you you live on a second floor, and he's uh, lives on a, a third floor, right? And you know that he he's uh, he's going in and out of rehab, and he just stopped uh, maybe two weeks, and he decided to get married, right? So and uh, this girl she does not know him and uh, she he's looking like a cool guy and stuff like that and um, so you are obligated to to warn him because okay. he can relapse every, every second just because he's clean now it does not mean that he's not going to relapse yeah. if she if she's going to decide that I want to go I want to give him a chance it's your it's your business you you're not uh, you you're not obligated to stop her. But at least you obligated to warn her. To warn her, right? Yes. So it's like, so it's like, okay, if a person is walking in the dark and you know that there's some like block or like yes. a hole in front of yes. you, you're obligated to tell him. Obligated, obligated. To keep walking forward, that's yes. Not him. Right. Okay. So and if she, if she, if you, if you're quiet, so there is no mitzvah at all. It, it, they, uh, they in in uh, in a, in a shemaim, they're going to blame you for this. They are okay. So it's like a negative prohibition. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So, or, or uh, as an example, for for example, um, like you know, not so dramatic, but but also you, when you're obligated, when when you know that this guy he's not Shomer Shabbos, right. for example, and and she's a Shomer so so he looks very religious, but you know that he so you see him from through the window that he smokes every Shabbos, he's right. hiding behind uh, like behind the bush or whatever he does. So you you must warn him because it's uh, it's, a, it's a big spiritual danger. Right. Okay. So continue. Right. On the other hand, the second-hand information uh, and baseless uh, impression have um, momentous implication. So second-hand information. What, what does it mean? When, for example, this uh, business deal happened to your brother, right? So you, your brother was. So you must uh, say that uh, it was not me. I, I did not witness what happened. And may, maybe your brother actually. Uh, you know, when some somebody's hurt, he he would uh, add details. Right. You know, but people add people add stuff. Like okay, everybody knows that. So so you you said that that's what 
happened to my brother. That's what he told me. I'm not sure of the facts, but uh, you you told him that you you're going to tell him that there is big chance that uh, whatever my brother uh, told me is true. So you but you you must say clearly is it's a ha second hand information. Right, right. So you have to let them know that it's you didn't actually witness it. Yes. You you weren't involved somebody told you yeah like that, that yeah but okay. but but i i trust that person but it's your obligation now so i'm warning you but you your obligation now to do the homework okay very good to know Con continue the questions um the questions of when you are allowed uh, or even required to speak lotion hara are complicated we're going to learn all of these questions in details just so you know a rabbinic okay. authority with experience in the field of shmiras halashon should be consulted in any of these cases okay we but uh, even though they they, they say that um, they give a uh, very good uh, guidelines right so ba based on this most of the cases would be clear-cut right but uh, okay but not, not all of them okay so let's stop here for today to be continued all right so let's go to kisser shulchan Aruch. okay and um so we're on page number seven <clears throat> and uh see if number three okay so we are learning uh, the laws of early uh laws of early morning okay so see if number three mm -hmm. continue to outline some fundamental avodas hashem so avada it means uh service Service of Hashem. Mm -hmm. So, in for example, in a, in a, in a temple, uh, all of these koanim they they were doing avada. So, service of Hashem, whatever whatever need needs to be done. Okay, it's also avada, and that that's what we do. So we we serve in Hashem. Right? Okay. Uh, Kitzur cites um, and explain the Mishnah in Avos. So when we say Avos, it means Perky Avos. Right. It's uh, teachings of our fathers. Okay. That's very interesting also. Okay, so here we go. Yehuda ben Tema says, Be bold as a leopard, light as an eagle, swift as a deer, strong as a lion, to carry out the will of your Father in heaven. Okay, so what does it all mean? Uh, no, no, okay, they, they're going to explain. Okay, so I'm not going to comment. Uh, comment. Okay, to be bold as a leopard means that he should not be ashamed before people who, sc uh, who scoff at him with the respect of his service of Hashem, may his name be blessed. So it applies to all of the people who did Shiva later on in their years, right? Uh, I don't know, 20, whatever age, that doesn't, doesn't make any difference. So and now your friends are going to say, so, ah, my, so, so you're not coming to movies, you're not coming to the beach with us, you're not coming to this, you're not going to uh, smoke hookah with us, you're not going to smoke a little uh, joint with us, that's it, that's it, you're, 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 you're such a tzaddik, that's it. Ah, <laughs> oh, you put your keeper. Oh, you, you think, ah, you, ah, you, you think with that, 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 that we forgot what, what you did five years ago. Uh huh. You, you remember the stolen car? Uh huh. So now you, you're a different person. No, 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 Mike. I know exactly who, I know exactly who you are. It stop, stop, stop pretending. Stop. You understand? And, and it happened with absolutely everybody. So, so and many people they they, they would everybody, do... every, sorry no, no, everybody no. always feels like now all of a sudden we're like they they think like I'm better than them like they think that I think that I'm better than them because all of a sudden I'm you know and it's just so funny like you're trying to be a good person according exactly. to God which exactly. means like no cheating no lying exactly. no stealing and now all of a sudden they feel like their lives are threatened mm -hmm. you know like. Well, like, what, what do you mean? Like, uh, like, mm -hmm. uh, like, I'm looking at what they're doing is wrong, which it is wrong. But like, I'm not looking like I'm better than them. I'm just changing my life. Mm -hmm. You know, like that's it. I want to go with God. You know, yes. like, with what God is. And right. uh, without any comments. So it's it's not like the, the interest. Uh, just add to to your point. It's not like you 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 rebuking these people, right? You you just mind your own I, business, I, I <laughs> right? No. You and but but they that's feel it. you see you see that uh, comes. Uh, here comes uh, in uh, subconscious so subconsciously yeah, yeah. they know that whatever you're doing is correct and whatever they're doing is not correct is wrong it's it's like the same thing with uh, noah's ark like when he finally built it 
and mm-hmm. he was going on the boat. Yes. They knew that he wasn't lying, but mm-hmm. they still didn't want to admit it to themselves. Yes. Like that's why they said that they wanted to kill him, like as soon yes. as he got on the boat. Yes. Because they knew. They yes. knew. Exactly. You know, their neshama knows. Exactly. They know the truth. Exactly. Exactly. So neshama, that doesn't matter how how dirty it is after all of these sins that the person does. It's still a spark of Hashem. Absolutely. Right, and he Neshama wants to do the will of Hashem. That's it. So it's uh, so, and uh, just be be ready to go through all of the hurdles. Uh, it, for sure, it happens with everybody, with everybody, and and many people. Unfortunately, many people uh, like uh, broke because of that. So they were yeah. embarrassed. So because I mean. I mean, and, and and they stopped, start absorbing because of, because of the peer pressure. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you exactly when where, where this peer pressure is coming from. So as as you said, you whatever we said, uh, correct 100 percent. So they they feel threatened, right? So there are two ways that when how you can approach this uh, threat. One way, you can uh, ascend uh, to to the level of this person, meaning you. Right, they they can do the same. You you you're not stopping. Nobody's stopping them to do the same as you did. Right, nobody's stopping them. Or they can lower you in their eyes. So basically, to go uh, on your level, it's uh, required a lot of work, right? A lot of yeah. dedication, change their life, change their habits. Or if they lower you in uh, their own eyes. So it uh, it's like uh, they you 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 on the same you and them on the same level. So it's always easier to lower somebody in uh, in uh, their eyes uh, or in, in in that person eyes than than to to go to go the the harder route and uh, to 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 ascend on his spiritual uh, heights. So that's uh, that's uh, that's as you said they feel threatened and that is guarantee is going to happen guarantee. Okay. Like uh, it, it is guaranteed that the water is wet, so it's guaranteed it's going to happen. So uh, yeah, yeah, I've noticed it almost right away. Like right, even from family, mm-hmm. <laughs> from family exactly, I've exactly. It. It's, it's unbelievable. So that's uh, that's uh, uh, kitzur shalchanorah. Kitzur uh, the the, the shalchanorah means laws. Mm-hmm. Laws it means it's not uh, a good thing to do. It's a that, that's uh, that's the law. That's what we must do. So it mu- a person must uh, be bold as a leopard, meaning if if they go, go going to make fun of you, for example, you uh, I don't know you on a birthday or you you whatever uh, somewhere and you you brought your tefillin, so in front of everybody like you, that that's time to to put a tefillin. That's what I do. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Nobody and they they going to and they're going to laugh. What you put it on your hand on your on your uh, where where is it on. The, the one on on your right hand, right? Where only on one hand, so they, that doesn't matter. You just do what what you must do. That's it. Like, uh, for, for example, some some people when they, in an airport, like they they try they just try to hide somewhere and stuff like that. So I would do like uh, if I need to pray with my talus and fin, I do in all public. So of course, I, like I I would face a wall, right? Uh, like uh, like a column, so I would not have any like uh, distraction. But I would do that, that everybody would see. Yeah. And my wife uh, always say that people come around you uh, and they take pictures, like like a tourist, you know, it's like attraction. So I'm yeah. a, like a local attraction. But, yeah, uh, at work I, I do the same thing, right? Because for Minha, I, don't, I can't go to Minion, like it's mm-hmm. during work. So yeah. like I'll go in the basement because I work at a pawn shop mm-hmm. and... Uh, you know, at a certain time, and I have workers that just go down there, and like you know, ever since I became a chuba, like it's gotten yes. a little, you know, new, and I just don't care. Like let them yes. go around. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let them go. Yeah. yeah. You know, so okay. yeah, it, it, it was a little tough at first because you know they're not used to you doing this, and you're not yeah. used to doing it in front of them. You know, mm-hmm. like so. But yeah, you know, I've noticed I've been made fun of already just for saying blessings over food. <laughs> but uh, so. after after some time. Uh, that's another Torah lesson. They're going to get used to it, and uh, it's it's happened very very soon. Just mm-hmm. just mark my words, and uh, they they would not pay attention at you. Yeah, Come yeah. Yeah, like uh, whatever that, that he ah the, this guy he always does that. Okay, that's it. Yeah. So it's a no no uh, old news. Okay. Right. 
So next one, um, the exhortation to be lightened as an eagle refers to the looking with um, one's eyes, which means to say that one should be quick to close one's eyes to avoid uh, seeing evil, as that is the initial stage of sin. Okay, so this we're going to spend some time to explain. The eye sees something prohibited, then the heart desires, and the finally the organ of activity, there is the limbs, complete the transgression. So we have to explain this. So one, uh, so let, let's start uh, with the explanation that it, there is not here. Okay, that's uh, like more like Talmud explanation about eagle. So they say uh, to be light as an eagle. So I'll say you say light as an eagle. Eagle is uh, the huge bird, right? It's probably the heaviest bird. Mm -hmm. So how is it light? And then ex and they explain that uh, meaning light. Right in double quotes, right? Light that eagle goes uh, the higher, the highest than all other birds, mm -hmm. despite of his weight. Right, he goes the highest. Mm -hmm. So they say, learn from the eagle. So he has uh, some dis disadvantage compared to the small birds. Right, that weigh nothing. Right, so mm -hmm. he he goes the highest. So work on yourself, right, and you you can reach. Uh, uh, like uh, unbelievable despite. heights, D despite of the weight, use this weight as your advantage. Okay, here what what, what they say the the eagle have uh, as, uh, as as you may maybe heard uh, many times uh, there there is a uh, expression eagle eye, right? Eagle eye yeah, means that eagle nice. rides from uh, from uh, very far far uh, uh, high. It sees all of these uh, small rabbits or small mouse mouse or whatever small like animals and it attacks and okay so um, so meaning that eagle has quick eyes mean that uh, we, we have to close our eyes so and uh, i'm talking about men right women also but we're talking about men so um, actually i heard this lecture just recently so it says that one of the french philosophers says very interesting so so he said um um the eyes see what mind is uh is um is ready to see so if you if a mind of a person if a guy is uh, out uh, uh in outside in a, in a summer and he's in a city right so and uh, his mind is looking for this uh not uh, properly closed ladies that's uh, what I, his eyes are going to see if he's uh, if he looks for uh, I I don't know for uh, for trees he is going to see all of the trees. That's one uh, what that uh, explanation, right? But then, uh, but once he sees it, so it's all all of the all of the sins come from the eyes, right. from the eyes, right? So all of the jealousy, for example, he saw that uh, his neighbor has a bigger. Uh, Bigger apartment, the better car, be, bigger this, b better this, whatever, right? So and it, it so it starts from the eyes. Why? Because because he was looking. Yeah. Because he was looking, and uh, he he will say so, uh, or if he saw a woman not properly dressed or even properly dressed, and his uh, uh, his imagination uh, he imagined her without all of these things, right? So first he saw. Then it entered his mind, and uh, the the scary thing is that this image can stay in his mind for many many uh, years. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, like and, the subconscious. yes, and then and then these uh, these images, these uh, things uh, that the, these thoughts guarantee to bring him to actions. And even actions uh, the, the, this guy is going to do with this girl today, it might be, it might be inspired something that he saw last week or a year ago. You understand? So it it, it was staying in his subconscious, and it was constantly cooking, constantly. So, but if you don't don't feed your subconscious, right? If you don't look, don't look. So that's. Uh, so you you're in a much better position. So you don't have all of these temptations, right? So that's uh, we're going to. 
So, so the, yeah, actually, I, I've noticed that, like, because I've averted my eyes, like, since I started doing true mm-hmm. and I've noticed my temptations have gone down, but my mm-hmm. yetzala has gone up. Like, you know, like I feel mm-hmm. like things are being presented to me just for me to look up, exactly. you know, and I constantly have to like battle the world just to like keep myself straight, you know. Mm-hmm. But the one thing that scares me is just. I walk like no matter where I am. Target this. I'm just yes. like to look down. Hashem is looking at yes. me. Yes. Put, play this all for me in Shemayim. Yes. I gotta, I gotta just look down. <laughs> yes. That's, that's, that's sad. That's a Jewish way of thinking. First of all, and uh, second, also we we will look down. That's what I do. But uh, you you must know one thing. You must know one thing. That uh, in this world, uh, you're being paid for um, for your achievements. Meaning, uh, if you work, work in a store, so let's say you work for commission, so the, this boss says, so I be, give you base salary two hundred dollars a week, for example, and plus five percent of ten percent of your commission. So if you don't sell anything, so he he might he he give you zero commission, zero, right? right? But uh, because why? Because you you were not successful. So he would, uh, if you come uh, for your check, so he said, no, 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 I, I, you, you know, I'm not paying you this week because you, you produce zero, right? right. That's uh, that's the, the way that this world is. Or, or right. for example, right. better b- example, if you take uh, your, your car to mechanic and you say there is some uh, noise and this and that, uh, or maybe some wires and I don't know, you, you okay. So, so and, and then you come, like he said, uh, come three days later, stuff like that. You come three days later and he said, okay, Mike, very nice. So you owe me Moshe, right, Moshe. So he said, Moshe, you know, you uh, everything is good. You owe me $7,000 and I need another three days. So you said, you you normal, I own you $7,000 for what? For what? I mean, he said, I, I, I was looking for this issue. I took uh, your, 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 your card apart all of the things and five people were working for for three days non-stop and i or changed this and it did not work change this so basically i changed uh, half of the your car and i uh, there is still noise but i no no don't worry in three days i i'll find the dish right. so you 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 would be very upset at this guy you would take him to court this and that because uh, right because why, why is he charging he did not accomplish anything in three days and uh, he, he wasted your time, and on top of that, he wants payment. That's the, this world, right? That's but not that's Baruch Hashem. That's now how Hashem operates. Hashem uh, rewards us for our efforts. Right. So it's a for efforts, right? So and it says that if you had an opportunity to do a sin, for example, you you walking in the aisle of this target. And uh, it's a good smell, right? Some people like put so much of uh, these women, so much perfume, even, even men, right? They, so it's a beautiful smell. It uh, and you want to look up, you want to look up, and you don't. So Hashem count this as a mitzvah for you. And the harder it is uh, not to look up, the bigger reward. So just because you did not uh, the do sin, Hashem is going to reward you. So all of this, it's not for free. It's enough. So you're not. So the, remember, with Hashem, you're not volunteer. That uh, is, is is working for free, and uh, you you just because you're nice guy. Absolutely not. You you working for a huge payment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, continue. The eye see something prohibited, and the heart desires. Yes? And finally, the organs of activity. Uh, there is a limbs. Complete the transgression. So if it's okay, so whatever limbs, uh, uh, different limbs. Okay. I get it. Okay. So continue. To be swift as a deer is a reference to to the legs, teaching that one leg should hurry person to perform good deeds. So. So if you have an opportunity to do mitzvah, you have to run. So they say, why? Well, if I walk, it's not good enough. I have to run. They say, absolutely. Because it's a hara, but if you start walking slowly, it's a hara, we will find you 17,000 reasons why you should not do it. At yeah. least not now. At least not yeah, now. That, that for sure starts with me in the morning. Like, you get out of bed sometimes. It's like, uh, you know, 
you know, it tells you like, oh, just hang on for five more minutes. But I keep hearing like you got to jump out of bed, like just yes. to wash your hands. Yes. This mitzvah, yes. You know? yes. 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 And I heard that if you do it like four or five times in a row, Shem's going to help you the rest yes. of the way, like every yes. time. And That's I'm still that... trying to battle this first thing, you know, like. Yes. Uh, okay. All right. All right, I gotta do it. I gotta yeah, do yeah, it. yeah. So next one, it's a, exactly what you said, and uh, be strong as a lion. It refers to the, to the heart, as a strength, um, uh, as uh, the strength required to serve Hashem. Maybe he be, may he be blessed. Resides in the heart. Okay, commentary number twelve, and we're going to explain. Um, although Avodas Hashem often entails physical activity. It is uh, primarily requires spiritual strength and will. Exactly as you were, you were discussing. Yes. The heart is the seal of these emotions. So you're going to do it, these things, all of the activities, so physically to wash hands, it's very easy. But if your mind, meaning uh, if, you, if you're not ready in your heart, it's uh, the hardest thing to do ever. So that's what the... Uh, kids or tell us be strong as a line where in your heart right. so resolve that I'm going to do it no matter what right. okay continue uh, thus Yehuda Ben Tema urged uh, that uh, one uh, fortify his uh, heart there is a result that, that to, to serve Hashem okay I'm serving Hashem I, I don't care and overpower his evil inclination to conquer it, so overpower. So first is uh, as as we just said, uh, you have to overpower so many times, but then uh, to conquer it. So after evil inclination, right? So after it sees that uh, that uh, it's it's a lost battle, so is it's going to leave you. It's going to 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 present itself in a different field, but at this, uh, for example, in the morning, it's going to leave you alone. Right. And they visit you from time to time. Not every time. From time to time. From time to time. Maybe, maybe like uh, when, when you're in the, your weakest uh, point, when, when you they didn't sleep enough, right? Right. So, okay. So, all right. So, that, that's how it works. Continue. Just as a strong man overpowers his enemy, vanquishes him, and throws him to the ground. Okay. So, this uh, this battle with Eitzahara, Eitzahara uh, is here from the beginning of the world. It's very strong, very, very powerful, and very smart, and very sneaky. Right? And the commentary say, by um, properly strengthening his resolve, a Jew can hope to eliminate any inclination to sin. And just add to this, so if if you have a mitzvah or some some things that is hard for you, so you have to um, you have to pray and ask Hashem's assistance, right? Um, so like even for like these small things, like give me strength. It's to get not. Up it's, in not the it's not small. It's not small. It's not small. Yeah. Okay, yeah. You're right. It's not small. <laughs> so it's so like many even people even don't do it. No. For for you. So it's like um, so so they they say how how you supposed to to pray? Uh, he's supposed to beg uh, Hashem like like a little kid. <laughs> so a, a little kid uh, he would uh, beg his parents for bubble gum, for piece of uh, candy, for this, for that. Take me to the movies, cuts for Shalom, right? They take me to to the beach, take me to the park, take me to this place, that be, place, you know, you know. You understand? So, like, for him, there are no small things. So everything he has to ask his parents, and and we when we acknowledge that everything comes from Hashem, so we are like this little kid. So everything I uh, I need, I come to my father, Father in heaven, and ask him for assistance. Yeah, okay. you understand? So don't don't think that you bother him. Opposite is true. So when you acknowledge that only he can help, you, you, it's it's a big thing. So you don't say no, no, no. I'll, I'll do it. I'll, I'll manage. I'll manage. No, no. Hashem, sit in your throne. Hashem, I, I'll, I'll manage. I, I don't need your help. So, but when we say Hashem, I need your help, even in this uh, thing to get up, just 
please, I, 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 uh, I, I missed uh, whatever I missed in the morning because I could not get get up. Please let, please help me get up five minutes early. That's all I need. Just that's all I beg of you. Just five minutes, please help me. Okay, I'll do that today. <laughs> and um, the place where you ask, so that's. Uh, that's why I ask you to have a cedar. So we have different cedar, but I, I can explain you where is it. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, when, when you pray Shmona Esra. Oh, it's in the Amidah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Amidah. So at the end of the Amidah, so so the the, the, the last blessing, it's uh, about the peace, right? Mm -hmm. And, and so Hashem should bless us with peace. And uh, and the, there is a small paragraph, and then you stay, take three steps back. Right. So when... when uh, when you you finish this last blessing with uh, about peace, so in this place, I'll say just say insert all of your uh, requests, personal requests. Oh, okay. So this personal request is going to be part of the Amida, official part of the Amida. Mm -hmm. That's why this and don't think that any request is small. Any request is acknowledging uh, acknowledgments that Hashem is running the world. So right after the peace part, with the yes, peace, yes, right after that. That's it. That's it. Yes. So before before that, you 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 cannot talk. You cannot add different things, and unless things that said in the cedar, like for sick people, for parnasa, right. other people. Okay, I'm, I'm not talking about that. But right. uh, like uh, for, with your own words, we don't add until this point. And here you can add. Okay, so you have a time for the next halacha, or stop here. Tell me. Uh, all right. Uh, can we can we stop here? Just okay, to, uh, yes, help yeah, yeah. my grandma with some stuff. Okay, but, okay, no. uh, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. I won't be able to, but I'm looking forward to Friday morning. Okay. So how do you?